Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm Jessica Brody and this is Shining the Light. What if you knew God had already given us the instructions to life and all you had to do was read them? It's not that simple, you might say, or oh please, if only. Well, here's the thing, he has. And most of us already have a copy at our house. It's the Bible. Now let me back up here. I was not a Bible reading girl for most of my life. I mean, I had one, I was a Christian, but really it sat on my shelf and collected dust. I mean, you know, maybe I'd, I'd pull it out for an occasional weepy night or two or bring it to Bible study, but even when it made it to Bible study, I'd usually only read the chapter or the verse they assigned. I wasn't one of those people who would just pour through it. But guess what I would read? Pretty much everything else. I mean, novels, every kind of novel imaginable. How-to books, newspapers, magazines. I mean, I would read the cereal box if I had nothing else to read. And when I was a teenager, I was obsessed with the theater. In fact, all I wanted to do was be an actress. I wanted to escape into the, the roles that I could play. In fact, if I wasn't, on stage or at school, I was probably in my bedroom, reading my scripts, memorizing every line, not even my own lines, but all the other cast members too, until I knew the entire thing by heart. You know, I could almost recite it word for word. By opening night, it was, it was like I'd become the character. You know, I, I carried myself like she did, or I'd walk the way she did, I'd talk the, the way she would. I even found myself dreaming the sort of dreams that she would dream. And then when I, I stood on stage and I opened my mouth, her words would just naturally just pour out of them. I mean, forget stage fright. I didn't need to worry about stage fright because the words had become a habit. You know, they just, they just fell out of my mouth and it was easy. Yet I called myself a Christian and I didn't read the Bible. Now one really, really important thing, you do not have to read the Bible to be a Christian. That is not a requirement. To follow Jesus, you need to believe that he's the son of God, repent of your sins, and know that he's the path to heaven. But as a follower of Christ, I'll say that reading the Bible, it just opens all the doors and it, it unlocks all the answers. When God nudged me to start reading the Bible, I'd read a verse here and there. I'd read a, a couple of chapters a day, and then I started progressing and, and now I rarely skip a day. And what once seemed frankly pretty boring now is something I require on a daily basis. It's like it's necessary to life. And now I'll find when I'm talking to someone and I don't know what to say, it's like almost the Holy Spirit will just take over and, and just say the words for me. I mean, Bible verses will, will pour out of my mouth and they're exactly the thing that comforts someone. It's like it's rooted in me and I within it. Now in the book of Joshua, Moses, who brought the people out of Egypt, he had just died. He led the people all through the wilderness for 40 years and then right before they entered the promised land, he died and Joshua was the one who was tasked to be the leader in his place. Now Joshua, he had what he needed to accomplish the task. I mean, he had God's commands, he had all of God's instructions in a scroll, but I'm imagining he had to be pretty nervous. I mean, Moses had been their leader for so long and here he is, the new kid, stepping up ready and he must have wondered, would he fail? Was he up to the job? God told Joshua not to worry. In fact, just to be brave and strong. And most importantly, to follow precisely the instructions he'd been given. In fact, he said, never stop speaking about this instruction scroll. Recite it day and night so you can carefully obey everything written in it. Then you will accomplish your objectives and you will succeed recite it day and night. Reading that hit me. All those scripts I used to read, hours and hours I would pour over them, reciting the words, knowing them, putting them down in my core. That's what God was telling Joshua to do. He told him, go to those scrolls, read them, 
put them in your heart, recite them day and night until they become a part of you. I mean, back when I was doing theater, I knew my character's lines so much that if anybody else forgot a line, I could probably say it for them. I didn't have to, to worry about a thing. All of those long weeks of practice and habit and everything, it just took over and everything was just fine. I think that's what God was, was talking about here with Joshua. If he knew those words and he knew them so intensely that they were part of him, that he had just practiced them and they were habitual, then then no problem, everything would be fine. Of course, the Bible is so much better than a play. It's the word of God, it's his instructions for life, it's, it's the secrets to everything we want to know. It is infused with the Holy Spirit, it's, it's timeless, it's universal. Every answer to every question we'd ever want to know is contained within the pages along with advice, support, encouragement, wisdom, even the hard truths. Maybe the hard truths I don't want to hear, but they're there too. When we read the Bible, it's like, it's like we're tucking a piece of God deep in our hearts. When we recite it, it's like we know it, we own it. We make it a part of ourselves. And it begins to transform us. Now there are gonna be days soon you don't want to pick up the Bible, but the point is do it. Keep God's word ready, part of your life, part of a habit, tuck it inside of you, know it so it is second nature. Even those days when you don't understand what you're reading, still obey and do what you know you need to do. And even better, recite it till you know it like you're a part of it. And then, Step back and watch him soar through you. Thank you so much to everybody who's subscribed to this channel. We've been growing every week and I want you all to know that um, everything I do in my life, the most important thing is just giving glory to God and helping people know about him and know how important it is that everything in the world comes down to God. Love it if you'd check out my website right here, which is jessicabrody.com. Connect with me on social media. I'd love to talk with you. Comment below about whether you read the Bible daily, if you've always had trouble remembering those verses, or if that's something that's ever come naturally to you. Anyway, until next week, God bless you, and keep on shining the light. <laughs>